Well, we are not done with the earthquakes yet in Greece as we had another quake strike the region near Larissa. This was a 5.6 quake. We're going to get into all the details, guys. Off the top, I'm going to just mention to you I am now over on Rumble. Go subscribe to my Rumble page as quick as you can because we were recently demonetized here on YouTube. Lost all of our revenue, so Rumble's our backup. Now, because we lost our revenue, guys, we need your help now more than ever to help support our ministry couple of different ways you could do that. One is through PayPal, the link down below. You could do either a one-time or you could do a monthly donation. They're both a great blessing to us. Or you could sign up on Patreon, the Patreon link below as well. But there you could sign up for as little as $5 a month. And when you do, you get access to all my bonus content, my podcast where I talk more about sensitive information, as well as the links to the YouTube videos are now going up there as well because YouTube does not always alert you for when new content comes out. So Patreon is a great way to make sure you don't miss anything. I highly recommend it. Also, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. Let's talk about Greece. Now, it was back on March the 3rd. We had a 6.3 magnitude quake that struck the area there in central Greece right around Larissa. This quake was felled all the way up even through portions of Athens. Huge quake. This actually ended up injuring 11 people, caused damage all over the country. This was not good. Now, to make matters worse... We get another quake, a 5.6, this one taking place the day after on Thursday. Now, this happened right around 8.38 p.m., coming in at a 5.6, and many people thought this was just an aftershock to the previous quake of the 6.3, but actually it was not. This 5.6 quake actually triggered a second fault that was separate from the original quake that hit. Now, this is extremely rare because usually you don't see it happen like this where you have a whole separate quake that's not a part of the original, that's not an aftershock. No, this was a separate deal, a whole separate fault. So we're definitely seeing increased activity, earthquake activity around the world. Now, usually in Greece, you know, they see a lot of these quakes that take place out in the ocean, uh, but this wasn't the case now, especially with these last two. Now, what this 5.6 quake did was it caused a lot of rock falls around the city there in Larissa. Plus, it attributed to even more damage caused by the previous 6.3 quake. So uh, there were churches that were damaged in the first earthquake. You had uh, other stores and other apartment complexes that were damaged in this as well. So this 5.6 did not help matters. They're still trying to get things cleaned up from the first quake. And now you have the second one that comes in right behind it. You had people that were running out of their homes into the streets. They felt that first quake. And now you got the second one, which... Most of the region felt this one too. Another very shallow quake too. Of course, the shallower these quakes are, the more potential we have for damage. And again, 11 people injured in that first quake. No injuries reported with the second quake, thankfully. But again, it did add to the damage that was already there from the first 6.3. I'm hoping we're out of the woods here, but we're just going to have to keep monitoring this to find out for sure. Let's not forget that also New Zealand was rocked by uh, not just two twin 7.0 plus earthquakes, but then an 8.0 earthquake that struck even after that just the, uh, the other day as well. So we are not done. We're not out of the woods. These earthquakes are increasing, ladies and gentlemen. But why? Well, Jesus said that it was going to happen in the last days. You know, we told his disciples we would see these earthquakes in diverse places. And they're becoming even more intense now. And this is also a part of why we do this. This is part of our ministry. We try to get people to Jesus Christ. You know, we bring you the prophecy news here. We go over the Bible headlines, compare them to what's going on right now around our world because we want to get people to the Lord because he's coming back so soon. We see that day approaching. Now, if you've never received Christ as your Lord and Savior, we want to give you that opportunity right now. It's very simple. One, you repent of your sins. Repent means to turn from your sin. Not just to say you're sorry, but to actually turn from a lifestyle, a habit, whatever it is in your life that's counter to what the Word of God says. You ask the Lord to forgive you. He will wash those sins away. The Bible says he won't even remember them anymore. You can't even bring them to him because he's not going to remember them. You believe that God sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for those sins. And then you invite the Lord into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again. You become saved. You become a believer. You become become a child of the Lord and you will have eternity with him forever. There's no greater decision. Trust me, there is no greater decision you were ever going to make while you're here on this earth than to give your life to Christ. So I pray you make that decision today. 
Guys, let me know what you think about all the earthquake activity down below in the comment section. Again, those links to donate can be found below. It is a great blessing to us, as well as a link to my Rumble page. So check that as well. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.